Hi everybody, this is Terry Rice at, at Foundry and for today's workflow we're going to take a look at using particles to help us quickly build out an environment like we're seeing all this foliage inside of this shot here. Let's take a look at how we can do something like that. So first thing we're going to need is some image sequences of some foliage. So if we take a look here we have four different images that we're going to be using for our particles. So we're going to need to emit these from a particle emitter. Let's go ahead and build that out. And we're going to plug our particle as our input. And we want to emit off of a surface. So we're going to use a card that we've built, just rotated 90 degrees, and this is going to be our emitting surface. So let's go ahead and just plug that into our emission input and take a look through our particle emitter. Okay, so there are particles in there, but we can't really see them. So in order to make some changes, we're going to need to see them. Let's increase the size. So if we go to 1, we'll start to see them. Let's get that up to maybe something like 8. That looks pretty good. And we also need to go ahead and uh, increase the amount of particles that we have here. Right now we ha we're set to 10 particles per frame, so let's go ahead and increase that to something like 80. That's pretty good. Okay, so now if we look at what's happening here, we have just that single image that's being uh, emitted as a particle. And the reason is because we're at frame 1. If we go to frame 2, well now that second image in the sequence gets introduced, frame 3, and then frame 4, all of them are there. Now we can choose how we advance in steps and what happens with that, if we look at under our advanced section here, we can choose constant, and I'll just use that single frame, the first image, uh, as our particle emission. We can choose to do in steps, and this is what we were using, so as we advance, the next image gets introduced. Or we can choose randomly, so randomly, no matter what frame we're at, we'll get a random mix of everything in our image sequence. I'll put this back to steps for the moment. So now let's look at another thing that's happening. We have uh, the particles that are being spread out through our card, but they're very evenly distributed. And that's because we are set to points. That means it's coming out of the, the vertices of our card. So if we change this over to faces, now we have a much better distribution of our particles and much more variation. Now another change we want to do is we definitely have this like pretty even horizon of these plants. So we can break that up by adjusting the size range to give it some variation. So maybe like something like 0.3, uh, 0.4, or 0.6 looks pretty good. We have a nice breakup now, and it's not very even. So now, another thing we'll notice is that it looks like our particles are growing. Uh, they're actually not, but what's happening is that uh, there's velocity on them, and they're going to keep on flying up, uh, which is okay because we are going to do something that will freeze them, but we want to kill the velocity on this. Let's put the velocity to zero, and so now we have it, them all planted. Okay, now I have this other input here, and I want to fill in some spots with our original particle emitter, and I want to be heavy with a particular plant, like one that's just really gr has a lot of growth on the forest floor, and we're going to use this as an input. Let's go ahead and create another particle emitter. I'm going to plug that into our particle. We want that same plane to be our emission surface, and let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's increase that size again, say 7 this time. And now we want to make, merge this with our original particle emitter. So the emitter has a merge input. Let's go ahead and merge the two and look through our first one. And now we can see them there inside of here. Okay, now we can make some changes. Let's change that emission rate. Let's increase that. And we want to kill the velocities. We can see they're growing here. And now we're really filling out that floor. So let's make an adjustment from points to faces, just like we did earlier. And now we have a very filled out area for a forest. So now the thing is, if we go through these frames here, you'll see that, that our particles are changing as we go throughout. We really want to freeze this. Uh, so what we can do is use a particle to geo node. And if we plug that in and have a look through it, what we'll be able to do from here is to specify a frame that we want to hold on. So if I specify a frame, you can see at frame one, it's not going to hold on there. Let's go two, and let's find a nice frame. So I think uh, frame 4 is quite nice. And so now if we scrub, we've frozen our particles. So from here, we've quickly built out an area. And this is great because when we fly our camera through, we have all this foliage variation. We can continue to tweak. Maybe I want to increase the size range on our initial particles. And we can have this nice introduction of all of these particles coming in. And this great way to fly through them and really fill it out. So now down here we have some filler into the background with some cards. 
So we make sure we get that parallax as we move throughout our shot. And then we have a hero tree that's going to be introduced in here as well. And we're really quickly being able to build out that environment, have a camera move on here uh, that's going to be supportive of all the move that needs to happen. So we can see that we have this beautiful forest floor. And if I begin to push in, we get all that movement. So that was a look into particles and using these images as sprites to fill out an environment. Thanks for watching.